Hey guys, welcome to Seth's Bane's Front Seat Reviews. Today I'm here with uh, the Dairy Queen Triple Chocolate Brownie. I'm about to give it a taste and let you know what my, my take is. Uh, pretty funny thing about Dairy Queen, I've, I grew up with this place. That, this actually this location. I've been here, going here my whole life. But the Triple Chocolate Brownie is actually not something that I've ever tried before. So I'm, I'm trying to try something new. Hopefully uh, encourage you guys to try something new as well. If, if it's good. If not, don't waste, don't waste your time. But without any further ado, let's dig in. Gonna get a piece of the the ice cream, a little whipped cream as well. Uh, looks like hot fudge. It's dried up a little bit and hardened. Um, then we're gonna take a double scoop with the, um, the brownie on the second side. The first thing you'll notice is that you get ice cream on my left side, and then the right side is the brownie with the whipped, the whipped cream. And so generally uh, with what this does is it allows the uh, consumer to choose whether they want to eat them separately, together, uh, back and forth, through and whatnot. Together is how I'm going to be trying it today with this first bite. I'm going to let you know how that goes. Uh, let me go ahead, insert it into my mouth, give it a taste, and I'll get back to you. Now I know we're pretty early on right now, but I can I can already tell you right now that taking one scoop out of the ice cream and another out of the brownie seems to be the way to go because it just the brownie comes out so warm, so fresh, and the ice cream is just as you'd expect. It's it's chilly, it's cold, and the contrast really adds to the flavor and really helps make the mouth just feel like an even more magical place. So I, I think that's a really great way to do it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try the ice cream by itself. I'll tell you how that is. So what I'm getting here is that it's a uh, classic DQ soft serve with um, some, uh, I can't tell if this is hot fudge or if this is chocolate syrup. I mean, just warm chocolate syrup. It's warm, so I would imagine it's hot fudge, but it, it doesn't have the consistency of hot fudge. Either way, great addition, great addition. I couldn't imagine this dish without, without it. Mm. Let's go ahead and try the brownie without the ice cream. See how that goes. See how that fares. Now see, the brownie... The brownie I really prefer with the ice cream. Because the, um... I don't know if it's a, a subjective taste or what, but the... The brownie seems almost designed to be a compliment to the ice cream. <laughs> I t it just baffles me. You, you gotta you gotta make each side of the dish work on its own, and then together, they, this fucking dude, oh, I guess they're backing in. Um, let me try it a, one more time together, to see, just, just to see if if my feelings about the uh, the brownie are are accurate, or my, my initial feelings anyway, much better, much better with the, the brownie with the ice cream. It's odd that they would design the brownie with with, with such a texture and a taste that it wouldn't <laughs> it wouldn't allow uh, for individual consumption. You need the ice cream to go to go with it. That's odd. But I, anyway, anyway, that I think the the real way this is designed to be consumed in the first place would be together either way. So that's pretty much. I guess that's that's, that's not a huge a huge issue, and I don't think most people would take issue with that. It, it is just a, an odd design choice. I will say that I've had a little less than half of each one. I don't know if you can see very well. And I'm already pretty full. Um, 
And I don't think that is because I am sick of, well, not sick is the wrong word. I don't think it's because I've had enough of the dish to where I'm just like not wanting any more of that specific, of the specific dish. I think it's, it's just so filling is what it is. It's not a, um, it's not a, it's not that I'm <laughs> desensitized to the dish itself. It's that I'm just, it's just filled me up. And we, we, which is something to say because I'm usually a, uh, a black hole of, of snacks. I'm a snack hole, as The Flash put it in Justice League. I just saw that movie the other day. Stay tuned for that review. But, as it is my duty and my livelihood, I think I'm going to have to finish the dish. Just let you guys know my, my all-around final thoughts. so good together. The ice cream's good on its own, too. By the way, if you guys uh, are looking for my full written review, uh, that will be up. Um, there should be a link in the description within the first few hours of publication on YouTube, so take a look for that if you're needing any um, scholarly sources for any kind of essay you need to write or, or for any other reason you'll need the, uh, the written review. It should be up as well. And I'll likely be going into more further detail with the dish um, after my immediate consumption of it. That way I can process my thoughts, opinions after the taste buds have, um, have subsided. Here I am, still eating, so I think that should be able to tell you something, that it is, uh, <laughs> it's at least that good, so. I think, you know what, I think I've had a, a, a good enough time with the dish to, um, to give my final verdict. Let me give one more bite real quick. For the price, this is. Um, I initially thought that this was quite small because this was about 450, if I remember correctly. And I'm thinking, um, I, I, I get, I get it handed to me through the drive-through, and I think, wow, this is what I paid for. This isn't gonna fill me up. Half of it fills me up. That's uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck here. Burp. Oh, here we go. I think um, overall, this is this is what we're gonna call a six out of ten dish. Six out of ten. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm putting the the average rating at five, right in the middle. So this isn't like school where a seven is an average. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, let's be real. It's the five. So a six, slightly above average, and that's where we're at right here. And for for the amount of money you're spending, I think that's a solid rating. And um, I would and you get a um a strict, good solid Seth Bain recommendation for the triple chocolate brownie from Dairy Queen. Go out and try it.